As requested in this video, I am going to show you the setup if you would like to use the OTG port of the K1 Live sound card for recording or streaming purposes. Without further ado, let's get started. Let me show you the things cables I will be needing in a setup. First of all, this is the K1 Live sound card. This is the device where I will be uh, doing some recordings. And by the way, setup should be the same if you will do some live streaming. This is a condenser microphone. You can also use dynamic microphone if you want. And this will be my uh, source of the background music. This cable here, this is simply an XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack to connect uh, to this uh, condenser microphone and you will need this uh, cable normally this comes when you buy this uh, k1 live sound card and it looks like that so this is a usb a to micro usb so the one that looks uh, like that and this one here this is a lightning camera adapter that is because i am using an iphone so make sure it has uh, the one that has a camera and uh, if you can buy the one that has uh, something like this so that you can charge while you're doing streaming or recording it would be great because it will drain your your uh, uh, battery of your phone if it doesn't have that one here so what i'm trying to point is while you're doing recording or streaming you could charge this one at the same time let's say for example you have this portable charger so this is just optional let's say you want to charge while streaming or recording then use a portable charger so what you do is simply use uh, this lightning and lightning cable so like that so connect this one from there and then connect this one to this portable uh, charger and if you are going to use let's say an android device then make sure to buy something like this so same it has a camera icon right there and then usb-c at the middle let's say you want to charge it also and of course usb-c on this end and again this one is lightning because this is an iphone so it's lightning on this end and these cables here are just optional so this is trrs the one that has three lines on both ends and this one is trs the one that that has uh, two lines on both ends so this is if you prefer to connect your background music to the k1 live sound card via line in or connect it through these cables so it's up to you you can either use trrs or TRS. So again, these are just optional. What I'll do in this video, we will connect this source of background music to here wirelessly using Bluetooth. So we do not need to use these cables. But again, it's it's your choice if you want to use that. And now let's start the connections. First, let's connect this device here or this iPhone to the K1 Live sound card through the OTG port, which is this one here, the one for charging. So for that, we will need this one. So again, this is micro USB. So micro USB to USB type A. So what it will do, we'll connect this one to here as if we are charging it. And now this other end, we will connect to this lightning adapter. So you will connect it to the one for camera icon. There you go. And now from here, very self-explanatory, we'll connect this one to here. And again, as I mentioned earlier, if you want to connect uh, um, a portable charger so that you're charging while uh, doing uh, streaming or recording it's actually good so that uh, you don't have to worry of uh, of uh, going low battery while uh, in the middle of doing streaming or recording and for that let's say you want to charge it while streaming or recording then we'll connect this one to here and then this other end to this portable charger and now let's connect this earphone for monitoring so from here we'll connect this one to here the one that says monitor okay and lastly we will connect this a condenser microphone again uh, you can use your dynamic microphone there is a port here for dynamic microphone we'll just pick one from here maybe this one here and then the other end let's connect to this condenser microphone and now we're all set and now to connect to the source of your background music, as I mentioned earlier, you can either use this TRRS or TRS. So you connect it to the headphone port from there and then you connect it to the back of this K1 Live sound card to the one that says accompaniment. But again, we will not be using this. Instead, what we will do is we will connect this one wirelessly using Bluetooth. So simply what you do is go to the settings of the source of your background music and then make sure 
sure Bluetooth is turned on and then uh, just find the K1 uh, over here on this list if you have a, a long list and then just uh, tap that. Make sure the Bluetooth here is also turned on. Otherwise, if this is off, let's say something like that, they will not connect. Anyway, if it's your first time to connect your source of background music uh, to the K1 Live sound card, normally it will show up at the bottom. And now it shows uh, connected, it says. Uh, K1 is connected. This means if I'm going to play a YouTube karaoke song from here, it will now be connected to this K1 Live sound card wirelessly using Bluetooth. From here, what I will do is I will start my recording from here so that I can share to you also the recorded audio output from this uh, iPhone right here. Okay, I'm going to start recording now from here. Okay, sound check testing one, two, one, two, three, four. So this time, whatever you are hearing, this is now the recorded audio output from this uh, device over there. So make sure before you even start your recording or streaming, this uh, record volume slider on here has to be on high. Otherwise, if this one is uh, zero or at low, of course, your audio output on your streaming or recording will be low as well. So right now, I am setting this one to about, it looks like about 90, 90%. Let's see. Yeah, so it looks like 90%. And the monitor, this is just uh, for my... Uh, for my uh, earphone it does not affect the recorded audio output because this is the one the record volume knob this is the level of your audio output from your streaming or recording the monitor here is just for your earphone how loud it is you wanted to hear that and uh, the volume here it's self-explanatory so it's up to you uh, however loud you wanted it to be and uh, my microphone here I am setting it to uh, three o'clock Okay, sound check testing one, two. There is no effects yet. That is because um, I did not add any effects. So there you go. As you notice, uh, as I'm talking right now, this is now pretty much the connections. You can do whatever you want. And again, I used the, the OTG port using the uh, charging port of this K1 Live sound card. And it is possible to do that. And as I showed you earlier, this portable charger is just an optional for you so that you can charge while you are doing your recording because if this is unplugged let's say if i'm going to unplug this one it will work still there you go so i did unplugged it and still work it's just that this k1 live sound card in this setup it's charging also and using the battery of your phone then that's why it is advisable that you charge it while you're doing your streaming so it will not drain your or use up your battery from the device you're using for recording or streaming okay and now if you are going let's say to use let's say echo there you go sound check testing one two pretty much all the the uh, effects here you should be able to you should be able to use and now if we are going to test some of the preset or or built-in sound effects on here Make sure to turn this uh, specific volume up or slide it up. Otherwise, you will not hear it. Okay, now let's uh, try to cheer. Oops, that's too loud. Okay, and laugh. Okay, and maybe let's say this one. There you go. Okay, so anyway, uh, as you notice, it does, uh, it does work. And uh, for a voice changer, of course, uh, it does work as well. So let's say I want to use this one here. Three sound check testing one two one two. two three four sound check. And by the way, if you want to know all the features of this K1 Live sound card, I'd made a video on that already, and I will be adding a link under the description below. And of course, you can use this uh, sound, uh, voice uh, changer on here also. Sound check testing one two one two three four sound check. Okay, and uh, for this uh, uh, preset reverb, you can maybe select one from here if you would like. Let's say even my. Okay, soundtrack testing one, two. It has a preset uh, reverb already on it if you select that. As you notice, everything pretty much works in this kind of setup. So maybe, okay, I'll maybe set to dry first. Okay, setting it to dry will eliminate whatever reverb or echo on your vocals maybe let's try playing this uh, music let's just uh, check how loud it is okay and to increase uh, the volume of your background music 
you can increase this one from here from this uh, device okay, so it's almost the uh, max already and also you can increase that from here okay so again you can increase the volume of your background music from the source itself or from here from the accompaniment okay I'm going to increase that from here there you go okay. maybe let's set it to three o'clock there you go okay uh, from here let me give you a short uh, sample as if you are maybe recording a cover song or maybe you want to sing to your viewers if you're doing live streaming we can use even my and I'm just gonna turn off this dry here there you go soundtrack testing one two one two three four okay let me do a short uh, recording from here and now we're standing face to face is in this world a crazy place just when I thought our chance had passed you go and save the best for last. So as you notice, it did work. And again, this is a very simple. Use this micro USB to USB A using this uh, Lightning camera adapter. And as I said, if you're using an Android device, use this one here. And by the way, these adapters that I have are not from the Apple Store. So I bought just bought. By the way, the adapters that I'm showing you on here that works for me are not from the Apple Store. So hopefully if you buy it somewhere else uh, from your uh, wherever uh, closer to your place, I'm hoping that it should work as well. Well, there you go. That is all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, consider subscribing if you haven't done yet. And hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.